How's it going everyone? Javita here with a community spotlight on Yilis Nation. This was requested by Lancelot and yeah, he left a private message in the mailbox and he even left a, a location marker right here so it should make it pretty easy to get there. So it's on Feminorum. Pop that there, learn this, and let's head over to that planet. Right here is Feminorum, and let's see here. So we could have a quick look around. He said it was accessible from, what did he say, Hollow? But I'm not really sure what Hollow he's talking about. So I guess we can just go ahead and plop down some warp conduits and just go straight there and kind of figure out <laughs> how to get uh, to civilization from that side of things so oh and now I see yellow right oh but I guess the portals closed mm, okay okay yellow nation wow okay so we got like a big LED robot gorilla type thing Interesting. So we got some portals somewhere over here. Ooh. Okay, so we got a guild book. We also have a connection to Duskmoor, uh, which was previously Blacklight. So not overly familiar with this hub, but we got the Yellow Nation right there next to Legendville, uh, Wolf Creek Tavern, Coinland. We have, ooh, here we go, Ultima HQ US East. Whoa. Like, very graveyard crypt-like. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, and for some better directions on how to actually get to Yilis Nation, we are on the Gravitas Tay Portal Seeker hub right here. There doesn't seem to be a super direct connection to this place from Portal Seekers, but you can head over to Ultima Guild HQ right here. And then we're going to head to the U.S. East Gateway, which is this one right here. And hop through this portal. Which, this is a pretty interesting hub, I have to say. It's like all these kind of gravestone mausoleum type things in this awesome tree. Uh, the portal's loaded right now, but there, if the portal's unloaded, you can actually see like the ghost of a skull through there. It's pretty cool. We're gonna head kind of, yeah, right back through here, and we have a connection to Duskmoor. And honestly, if you are familiar with Duskmoor, then you really don't have to do those first two steps. It's just I'm more familiar with the Ultima Guild HQ and Portal Seeker networks, but there is a little bit of everything here. There's connections to the Hubbit network, uh, Fairy Tale network, all of those networks connect directly to here. But uh, let's head right over here. So where'd it go? So here is the Ultima HQ US East portal that we just came through. And then right over here is Yilis Nation. So pretty reasonable to get there. Uh, uses some networks that maybe I'm not quite as familiar with, but nothing wrong with that. But let's get down to business. All right, so let's head back over to Yilis Nation and the what's what. Okay, there's the gorilla robot thing. Whoa, okay. <laughs> I guess we found the entrance to somebody's home or something. Welcome. Okay. Oh, this is an interesting kind of space. Nice warm lighting. Slightly corrupted building over here. <laughs> Very interesting. I like the, the color lighting combinations. It's nice warm uh, lighting and wood with the... I guess that's essentially some version of gray stone. Oh, we got... It's like a little storage area down below. We got... Nice auto doors. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. With like the shattered gleam, is that literally? I, mean, I could use it as almost a staircase. A little hard to navigate, but 
There we go. Little parkour to get into your base is <laughs> pretty interesting. Let's see here. I like some hanging down crystals. Kind of an interesting little base right there. Yeah, pretty cool. Maybe like, okay, the crystals on the underside and then the structure below kind of repulse each other. I don't know. I'm like reading all sorts of things into <laughs> not a whole lot. Ooh. It's like a shard of something. Oh, is it a, like a sword tip maybe? We're gonna have to like get a ways away to kind of see what exactly is actually. Yeah, okay, we got a sword. I guess we kind of need to see it from the side, though, to fully appreciate it. There we go. Very nice. See if I can <laughs> manage to kill myself with impact damage. Okay. See, we got some more portals over here. Healus Landing Psycho Slide. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so yeah, we got water with a little bit of trampolines. Nice. Let's see, let's see here. Assuming this goes up. Yeah. Just need to have faith. <laughs> okay. Whee! Oh my. So... Okay, faith lands us straight in. Oh, there's like trampolines under the water too. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Kind of check out this. Okay, so we got the cardinal directions kind of marked out. Very interesting. But yeah, like the, the platform or whatever you want to call this lower part is kind of mirrored up above, so pretty cool. Kind of interesting, like, <laughs> we're gonna dip down and then come up. And the door. Okay, I was just in the way. Nice. Gotta love auto closing doors. Uh, I have a nice little scenic pathway. Ooh, we got. Looks like a. Whatever we're called. We're not necessarily Orshans, although they kind of often call ourselves Orshans, but I guess citizens are the more <laughs> the typical name used for whatever race we are. That's pretty cool. Okay, what do we have over here? Got kind of a leafy house. Some storage inside. Oh, okay. It's like... I don't know. <laughs> it's an extended walkway hallway thing. Okay. Let's follow this and see where it leads to. Okay. It's like I almost want to say that looks like something, but I can't quite place what it reminds me of. Guild buff room. Guild buff room, okay. Ooh. So grapple and run helix. That's a good one to get. Nice, we got some guild books laid out here. So this is Yilis Elite Nation. Owned by Red Z. Or Red Z. <laughs> However, which way that's supposed to be pronounced. Oh, spitter! Spitter! Run away! Ooh. Nice. What kind of blink is that? Refined blink. Okay. And what else? Ooh, we got a green castle looking thing over there. Got a blue and... Oh, there's like a lot of just kind of holes in the ground, but this is... Looks like a pretty interesting... Wow. It's like... Basement and like greenhouse all at the same time. That's pretty <laughs> pretty interesting feel. And I'm gonna have to like start using some of this decorative sedimentary rock because I guess I forget about it, but then it's pretty interesting because you can almost use it like 
uh, wood or I don't know. It, I've seen a lot of interesting uses for it here lately, but uh, but pretty cool. Little crafting storage area down there. Got a mailbox. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Like the downstairs is kind of like an open air workshop or something, and not a whole lot going upstairs. Pretty interesting. Got the kind of the green castle D. Got some cool beams going on. Ziggert X Etrem? Hmm. I don't know. I was assuming that was a name at first, but I'm wondering <laughs> if that is actually a language, it does not look familiar to me. Not that it really should, because <laughs> yeah, I don't know really any at all. Other than, you know, of course, English, but Okay. Interesting. Just got random brick block sticking out there. It's kind of, it's like it's almost trying to be a fireplace or a furnace. We got the shop stands, maybe to display items. I have, I have no clue. It's not look like they're actually used for storage. That's kind of my next guess. Hmm, pretty interesting. Oh, you got the spark generator kind of hanging out there. Some pretty well organized storage. Oh, there's a. Oh, nice. It's locked, but he left the door open for us. <laughs> pretty cool. Got a nice, eerie green kind of workshop area. And that would actually, yeah, that keeps people out of the beams. I started to say, well, except for that one, but pretty, pretty close. And with a little bit of room for expansion. Very nice. I think that about covers it for at least down here. Ooh, I like how he incorporated some leaves into the place. Kind of helps give it a little bit of that extra nature-y feel. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty cool. He's got the gleam... That beams or poles? Okay, so gleam poles suspending <laughs> the gleam. And not a whole lot up here. Let's see here. These are not auto closing doors, so whoa. Okay, I guess we're done. <laughs> up there. Let's uh, eat a little bit of food. I need to make the new earthy and pies. Actually, I, I've already made some. I think they need, still need to be cooked or something. Liz Light Antion? Something like that? Yin? Okay. Red's Mini Shop. Uh, okay, here we go. So we got Gleam for sale. Very nice. Okay, it's uh. <laughs> I was first thinking it was like the side of a building, but it looks like it's literally just kind of like a billboard. Got the wooden structure here. Kind of interesting of all the different kind of check checkered holes and things, different materials used. Some kind of shattered dark glass here. And the spitter's after me. Ooh. Got a nice feel on the inside. Very, uh, nature-y earth tones. At least above. Pretty interesting. Lots and lots of storage. Whoa. And some holes. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna, I guess, fill in with some crafting tables. Or similar type blocks. You could even put in like some shop stands for extra storage in the floor slash item display. Let's see here. What um, I just did. Oh, new Nixia. Yeah, they had a crafting layout with shop stands and machines laid out on the floor so you could actually display the items on the shop stands uh, 
but they're just used for storage. But you could just kind of at a glance, like, oh, this is the refinery with all of the uh, that colored gleam or whatnot. Or um, so it's pretty cool. Ooh, lots and lots of metal ore. <laughs> Sorts of gems, very nice. Way more organized than I <laughs> have ever been. Whoa. Okay. Let's see here. Where is it? Okay, I started to say, isn't the front door, or at least the door we used over here? Ooh. Got like some shattered, gleam, archy, rainbowy looking thing. And I like this. I, I have no clue what this is really. I mean, ooh, we got some water. Ooh, it's like, uh, interesting. There's like a little river and they made like a glass aquarium tunnel thingy. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, well, let's see here. We may have already <laughs> seen at least most. I mean, we seem to be going around in circles now. Let's see here. Is there just something, whatever, towards the south that we haven't really seen yet? Got some roads laid out here, and I guess that is Yilis Nation. Okay. It's a little bit on the small side, but there's quite a bit of like interesting things going on here, and it looks like it would be a pretty tight-knit community. Of course, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting them, but... Ooh, okay. I never did check out the Leaf Roof place. Ooh, <laughs> there's like a... It's like, um, yeah, like I almost want to call it a torch, but I think it's got like, you know, meant to be maybe a signal fire on top of whatever that structure is. Ooh, I like how these beams are just kind of jutting out like that. Ooh, we got some staircase there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like it's meant to be fire kind of being swept in the wind. And it doesn't look like there's really any way to get inside of there, I guess. Let's see here. Yeah, it would be... It's a, it'd be like a two-block empty space in there. If it's not solid, that is. Oh, okay, we got a... <laughs> a I thought it was sand at first, but apparently it's ice. Pretty cool. Alright, let's check out the inside. Nice auto doors. Okay, not a whole lot going on inside. You have a skylight there, a little bit of leaf leafage going on. Huh. Very interesting home. Okay, so at the base of the big giant robot gorilla thing. Actually, I have no clue if that's meant to be a gorilla or not, but that's just kind of what it reminds me of. Apparently, Eulis does have a YouTube page, so you can check that out. And see if maybe there's a Discord. I don't know, I, I feel like if there's going to be a Discord posted somewhere, it would be kind of here. It does appear that the main connection is... Ooh, kind of missed that. It's like a tree fist. <laughs> it almost looks like a fist coming out of the ground that's like grasping the leaves, but that's pretty cool. Okay, well I think that concludes the spotlight for Yilis Nation, a very nice little town, especially if you don't want like that full-blown city type settlement. So, but anyway, this was Javita, thanks for watching, if you like this video be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more like this, and if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel and want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.